Well, we had one of those dreary end to the weekends once again. Temperatures, though, well above average for highs yesterday. 82 degrees was our high temperature here into Green Bay. Some mid 70s are pretty common and then Ephraim a little bit cooler at high of 73 degrees. But of course, we picked up a ton of rainfall yesterday, about over half an inch here. Now, we didn't really even need it for this month. That puts us at about an inch and three quarters above. Same thing for this year. We are doing pretty good. Now, we didn't get the heaviest of the rainfall. If you look at yesterday, all course off into western Wisconsin. They got anywhere from five to seven inches, especially just north of Eau Claire here for us. We did see anywhere from one to two and a half inches into our area. Fremont picking up two and a half. Shyocton at two. And of course this morning things are very warm and muggy as we are still ahead of this system in that warm front. Now we are going to cool down later on today, but first we're waking up to those mid 60s into the Northwoods, mid to low 70s throughout the Fox Valley. It is 75 degrees into Fond to lack in 74 here into Green Bay with those dew points not far behind. They're in the mid to up, upper 60s to low 70s, which puts us at nearly 100% relative humidity. If it's not raining there by you, you're seeing that fog and you're feeling it the second you head out the door. So visibility down to just a quarter of a mile into Ephraim right now. Menominee, Pembine also seeing that fog. Winds pulling out of the south up to about 15 miles per hour. They're breezier into the Fox Valley and they are going to pick up as this front hits us later on this morning and then they're going to pull in out of the north and cool us down. So see we're in the middle of it as that front hits us right now. That's why we're seeing these showers and storms firing up. There they are. Let's go take a look at them right now. They're basically putting down a brief heavy downpour, some lightning and thunder and potentially some small hail as well. Those are those hail tracks as you can see headed in towards mountain and this would track just south of Stephenson. Now this is not a severe th thunderstorm worn storm, but it does have a little strength to it and of course it'll wake you up. You'll hear some rumble of thunder as this cold front hits us. Look at Chicago soaring to near 100 degrees while we stay on the cooler side of the system throughout the afternoon, even though it's still going to be warm and muggy. So the severe weather is targeted down into that major area. Well, here for us today, we're just looking at a thunderstorm chance and mainly just this morning. Here's this front pushing through from about seven to nine. We have these chances for showers and storms. After that, we're going to start to clear things out. The sun will actually start to peak out and those winds are going to turn to much more comfortable and crisp crisp, not so muggy and humid. So relief in sight and a dry week ahead as this high pressure starts to dominate. We don't have any more rain chances until Friday night into Saturday morning. And then after that, as we're looking in to the beginning of September, we're actually looking at below normal precipitation outlook here. So we're kind of getting in the clear. We're almost done. Sun rises at 612 this morning. Again, we will see pockets of it after these storms this morning. Highs climbing to those mid 80s, humid, windy. Then tonight we'll cool things down to the upper 50s to low 60s. And tomorrow will be very refreshing in those mid to upper 70s. Still breezy with gusts up to nearly 25 miles per hour though. And there's that sunshine if you are missing it all weekend long. It is going to be here all week long. You can see temperatures kind of flirting with those 80s for a majority of the week. The heat and humidity ramp up on Friday once again. And then, of course, we are going to be seeing those um, showers and storms Friday night into your Saturday morning that cool us down throughout the weekend. And we're bright and beautiful and good to go.